In the previous lecture, we learned matrix addition and multiplication. In this lecture, we study matrix data structures. This lecture has two parts. The first part is dense matrix data structures. The latter is sparse matrix data structures. Let's first study dense matrix data structures. Dense matrix means most elements are non-zeros. The opposite of dense matrix is sparse matrix. Most elements of a sparse matrix are zeros. Dense matrix is typically stored in a fixed size array, such as this one. Each element is stored in one entry of the array. We can store a dense matrix in two different ways. One is row major order and the other is column major order. Here I illustrate row major order and column major order. The left is row major order. It means storing the rows one by one in the array. The first row, then the second row, the third row, and so on. The right is column major order. It means storing the columns one by one. I'm going to describe the two data structures. I will use this example to explain row major order. It stores rows one by one in the array. Put the first row in the array. Then put the second row in the array. Then the third row. Finally, the last row. In this way, the matrix is stored in an array. Next, let's study column major order. The columns are stored in the array one by one. We put the first column in the beginning of the array. Then put the second column in the array. Finally, put the last column in the array. In this way, all the columns are stored in the array. This is a column major order. Think of the questions. Why does a layout matter? Why do we need two kinds of layouts? Can we always use row major order? What are the strengths and weaknesses of row major order? I use an example to answer the question. I want to read the second row of the matrix. The second row is stored as the consecutive elements in the array. The elements are within neighboring storage locations. When traversing the row, we sequentially read the memory. This makes use of the spatial locality. If a matrix is stored in the row major order, then it is fast to read a row or write a row. Why is spatial locality good for reading and writing? CPU doesn't directly read the main memory. When the CPU wants to access a datum, it looks at the cache. If the CPU doesn't find the datum in cache, it asks for the transmission of the datum from memory to cache. This is a cache miss. Sending data from memory to cache is way slower than reading data from the cache. So avoiding cache miss is a priority in traversing a matrix. When the CPU requires one byte, the system actually sends a block of data instead of a single byte to the cache. It is because the system believes the neighboring data will be used very soon. This is called spatial locality. Taking advantage of spatial locality is crucial to efficiency. After block of data being loaded to cache, the program should make full use of the data in cache. In this way, the number of cache misses is minimized. A very bad strategy is using only one byte of the block, removing the block, and loading the next block. Using the bad strategy, the number of cache misses will be ridiculously high, and the program will be very inefficient. In the matrix application, 
if the matrix is stored in row major order, then the elements of the same row are consecutive in memory. When a cache miss happens, the system transmits the required elements as well as its neighbors in memory to the cache. After the cache miss, the entire row is in cache, unless the row is too big. So we can traverse the row at the cost of perhaps only one cache miss. If the matrix is stored in the row major order, then it is slow to read or write a column. Suppose the matrix is stored in row major order, and we want to traverse the second column. Using the row major order, a column is dispersed in the array. If the matrix is very big, then these elements are far from each other in the memory. Each time we access an element, there is a cache miss. When we traverse a column, many cache misses will happen. This will make reading and writing very slow. Recall that when we traverse a row in the matrix, only one cache miss happens. For row major order, traversing a row is much faster than traversing a column. This is due to the spatial locality. If we want to frequently read or write rows, then we had better use row major order. Likewise, if we frequently read or write columns, then we had better use column major order. This is the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. The link to my slides can be found below the video.